I bet you didn't know. An introduction to childbirth. Childbirth is one of life's most profound miracles. A new human being prepares to enter the world. This moment is filled with anticipation, wonder, and immense power. For many months, a tiny life has grown and developed. Now the time for arrival is near. The body, in its infinite wisdom, knows what to do. This essay will guide you through the amazing process of vaginal childbirth. Vaginal childbirth is the most common way babies are born. The mother's body works in harmony to bring her baby into her arms. This journey involves several stages of labor. Each stage has its own purpose and characteristics. Understanding these stages can help you feel more prepared. The baby also plays an active role in this journey. Together, mother and baby work towards the moment of birth. Hormones play a crucial role in getting things ready. Estrogen and progesterone levels change. The hormone relaxin helps to loosen ligaments in the pelvis. Trusting your body is a key part of the birthing experience. The first stage of labor is often the longest part. Its main purpose is to prepare your cervix for birth. The cervix is the opening of your uterus or womb. During pregnancy, it is usually long, firm, and closed. For your baby to be born, the cervix needs to change. It must become soft, thin, and open. This stage is divided into early labor and active labor. Early labor is usually gentle. Cervical dilation is a key process in this first stage. Dilation means the cervix is opening. It is measured in centimeters from zero to 10. When your cervix reaches 10 centimeters, it is fully dilated. Another change is called effacement. This means your cervix is thinning out and shortening. Effacement is often measured in percentages, from 0% to 100% effaced. Both dilation and effacement happen because of uterine contractions. Contractions are the most common sign. In early labor, contractions are usually mild. They might feel like period cramps or a dull ache in your back. As early labor progresses, they will gradually become stronger. Active labor is when things really start to pick up and become more intense. This is the part of the first stage where your cervix dilates more quickly and efficiently. It typically starts when your cervix is around four to six centimeters dilated. It continues until you reach full dilation at 10 centimeters. Contractions become much stronger during active labor. They also last longer, perhaps 60 seconds or more each time. And they come more frequently, maybe every three to five minutes. This is the hard work of labor. Your body is working powerfully to open the cervix and move the baby down. During active labor, you will likely feel more discomfort. The sensations can be very intense and overwhelming. It is important to focus during this time. Your support people can be a great help. They can offer comfort measures like massage or a cool cloth. They can remind you to breathe and relax between contractions. Many women find that changing positions helps a lot. Walking, swaying, or leaning can make contractions more manageable. Section four, the journey downward, the second stage of labor. The second stage of labor begins once your cervix is fully dilated to 10 centimeters. This is often called the pushing stage. Its purpose is to move your baby down through the birth canal and out into the world. This stage ends with the birth of your baby. It can last anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. For first-time mothers, it may take longer. If you have had an epidural, you might not feel the urge to push as strongly at first. Your care provider will guide you on when and how to push effectively. Your baby plays an active role in this descent. As your uterus contracts, it pushes the baby downwards. The baby's head usually flexes with the chin tucked to the chest. This helps the smallest part of the head lead the way. The baby will also rotate as it moves through your pelvis. The pelvis has different shapes at different levels. The baby navigates these changes to find the easiest path. Section five, nearing the finish line, crowning and delivery of the head. Crowning is a significant moment in the second stage of labor. It means your baby's head is starting to emerge. Specifically, the widest part of your baby's head is visible at your vaginal opening, and it stays visible even between your pushes. This is a sign that birth is very near. Your healthcare provider will be watching closely. They will guide you and support your baby's head as it emerges. 
Seeing your baby's head for the first time can be a powerful and motivating experience for you and your support team. When your baby's head is crowning, you will likely feel intense sensations. The skin and tissues of your perineum are stretching to their maximum. The perineum is the area between your vagina and your anus. This stretching can cause a burning or stinging feeling. This is sometimes called the ring of fire. It is a normal part of birth. It usually only lasts for a short time as your baby's head is born. Try to breathe through this sensation. Section 6. Welcome to the world, birth of the baby, and immediate post-delivery. Once your baby's head is born, there is usually a brief pause. During this pause, the baby's head will naturally turn to the side. This is called restitution or external rotation. This movement aligns the baby's head with their shoulders. The shoulders are still inside your pelvis. This rotation helps the shoulders to fit through the birth canal more easily. One shoulder is usually born first, followed quickly by the other. Your care provider will gently guide your baby during this process. You might need to give one or two more pushes. With the next contraction or push, the rest of your baby's body will be born. The shoulders emerge and then the body and legs slip out relatively easily. This moment is often accompanied by an incredible rush of emotions. Relief, joy, exhaustion, and overwhelming love can all flood over you. You have done it. Your baby is finally here. The feeling of your baby's body leaving yours is unique and unforgettable. All the hard work of labor culminates in this beautiful, powerful moment of birth. It is a triumph for both you and your baby. Immediately after birth, your baby will usually be placed directly onto your chest or abdomen for bonding. Gap 3S, Section 7. The final push and first breath. The final moments of childbirth are both intense and miraculous, filled with anticipation. As the baby's head crowns, the mother experiences a mix of pain and relief, a powerful combination. With each push, the baby moves further down the birth canal, closer to the outside world. Finally, the baby's head emerges, followed by the shoulders and the rest of the body, completing the birth. The baby is then brought out of the vagina, taking its first breath and crying, signaling the start of a new life. This moment is filled with joy and emotion for the parents and everyone present in the room. The room often fills with a collective sigh of relief and tears of happiness, a shared experience. It's a moment that captures the essence of life's beauty and fragility, a true miracle. The baby's first cry is not just a sign of life, but a signal of a new beginning for the family. It's a sound that will be etched in the memory of the parents forever, unforgettable. This is the culmination of months of anticipation, preparation, and love, finally realized. As the baby is placed on the mother's chest, a profound connection is established, skin to skin. This immediate contact is crucial for both the baby and the mother, fostering a deep bond. It promotes bonding, helps regulate the baby's temperature, and can even stabilize their heartbeat. The mother's touch and voice are the first comforts the baby experiences in this new world. For the parents, this is a moment of pure, unfiltered emotion, a culmination of their journey. The journey of labor has reached its peak, and the reward is now in their arms, a precious gift. It's a testament to the strength, resilience, and love that has brought them to this point. This is the moment they have been waiting for, and it is nothing short of magical, a dream realized. The final moments of childbirth are both intense and miraculous. As the baby's head crowns, the mother experiences a mix of pain and relief. With each push, the baby moves further down the birth canal. Finally, the baby's head emerges, followed by the shoulders and the rest of the body. The baby is then brought out of the vagina, taking its first breath and crying. This signals the start of a new life. This moment is filled with joy and emotion for the parents and everyone present. Don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell icon to be notified of our next video.